elite martial arts. All right, enough of that. Let's get to it. This will be five rounds of three minutes. All weapons allowed in Muay Thai to the knees, I'm sorry, to the legs, body, and head. Nice, nice round kick there from, oh, from both, both of our uh, athletes. Tyson using that jab, you know, we, we know he likes, he's got very good hands, good boxing. Duvall, oh, Ooh, beautiful right beautiful. body kick from Duvall. Keeps keeping his elbows fairly tight. Uh, I'm assuming uh, uh, very aware of the straight punches of Tyson Green. You know, I wonder if that's the, you know, the new, uh, the new wrinkle to Duvall's game. You know, maybe he's been working his boxing. He is working at a boxing studio these days. Both men jockey for position inside that clinch. It was a tight one, not much going on. Yeah, Tyson really didn't want anything to do with it. Gave, gave Duvall a push off there. So you know what, I don't want to go into your game. Great combo from Tyson Green there. So, great sharp eyes, Tyson Green. Very impressive. Oh, good, good right hook there from Green. Not a lot in it, but you know he might start seeing an opening. Duvall, a little more of your your sort of oh, nice right kick. He's, he's landed a few of those now. Oh, beautiful right hand from Tyson Green, which has Duvall inside. Yeah, right in Duvall's world. I, I was about to say that about Tyson is he doesn't want to put his back up in a corner. Duvall loves to clinch. We've seen it time and time again. But Tyson. Here, putting his weight on Duvall early. Tyson, very smart, keeping head to head. You can see Duvall is literally with his eyes looking for an opening for elbows. Both men, oh, oh beautiful. Tyson comes with a short elbow there. Both men jockey for position here in a tight, tight, tight clinch. I'd love to see a little more effectiveness of these knees here. They're kind of just pitter pattern. Tyson holding his own uh, so far, and there we go. Now Duvall turns him. Let's see what Duvall can do here in the clinch. He started to get a dominant position. You know, he's got his left hand nice and high. It's, yeah, and there's those elbows, those short elbows Duvall loves so much. Tyson needs to tie up that left arm of Duvall, or that right arm of Duvall, and not allow him to have it free floating uh, out there, you know, kind of doing whatever he wants with it. Referee Andy Social letting these guys absolutely clinch here. Tyson, you can see, electing to maybe not have any more of this. Yeah, trying he's to push trying off. to push off, which is the right call uh, if you can get your arm on the inside. He needs to get his arm on the inside of the vaults first. To be, on, to be honest, I, I, I don't see a lot of effective clinch here. I can see this getting split up here pretty soon. Yeah. But the work is happening, especially from Duvall here with the knees. Yeah. They're going one for one, tit for tat, not, but Duvall's turning. He, he's definitely in controlled position. Tyson does have a double body lock. Now let's see if he knows this. Oh, and then we get the clinch break. Referee breaks it up in the, the blue corner. That would be Tyson's green corner from St. Albert, Alberta versus Duvall, Garvey, Dunamis, and Calgary. Nice right Big body right kick. kick. There's where the gunshot. Oh, and another body kick that landed well. And then right into that right elbow. Back inside that clinch. And you can see that's where Mr. Garvey gets gunshot from, those right heavy kicks. We have three WBC professional titles coming up. Whoa, and now we have a broken rope. Uh -oh. Right. Well, we're probably going to get a little delay in the action here. I assume there's going to be an intermission of sorts. <laughs> an official 10 minute break now, just whilst we get the ring repaired. I apologize for the delay. All right, so unfortunately, we just got word from the officials that this belt will be uh, uh, ruled a no contest.